Hi everyone, this is Lior from TradingNRG.com and this is your weekly outlook for gold and silver price for the week of March 4th to the 8th. So let's get started. So what happened last week? Gold and silver prices didn't do much on a weekly scale and even though gold and silver sharply rose over the first couple of days of the week by over 2.5% each, they've corrected it and tumbled down throughout the rest of the week. So what should we expect for the upcoming week of March 4th to the 8th? Let's see some of the main reports, events, and decisions that will be made throughout the week. On Monday, there's RBA's cash rate decision and the statement that will follow. In the last month, the overnight money, money market uh, rate remained unchanged at 3%, which is still the lowest level since the end of 2009. If... Uh, Reserve Bank of Australia we decide to lower its rate again, it could have some significant effect on the Aussie dollar and consequently gold and silver prices. The US ISM non-manufacturing PMI report will be released on Tuesday. As of the previous report regarding the January index, it, uh, the PMI declined to 55.2 which means that the, the non-manufacturing sectors in the U.S. are still progressing, but at a slightly slower pace than in the previous month. This news could have some more effect on the U.S. dollar. On Tuesday, there's also Australia's fourth quarter GDP update. As of the previous quarter, in the third quarter, the GDP expanded by 0.5%, seasonally adjusted for quarter-to-quarter -quarter growth, which is a still a slightly lower growth rate than in the previous uh, two quarters. So if the growth rate will continue to dwindle, it might adversely affect the Aussie dollar, which is again also linked with commodities prices. On Wednesday, the ADP will announce Will publish its estimate for the non-farm payroll report. This will be a preview to Friday's non-farm payroll report. And if the and according and with uh, according to this estimate, it could have some uh, effect on the U.S. dollar and also commodities prices. Bank of Canada's overnight rate will also be decided on Wednesday. This week we'll ha we'll have the major banks, central banks, uh, rate decisions and monetary policy meetings. In regard to Bank of uh, Canada, the policy remained unchanged as the overnight rate remained at 1%. If Bank of Canada will maintain its policy, it might not affect the Canadian dollar. However, if the Canadian economy will show some signs of of slowdown and the Bank of Canada will want to react to it, this could have some, uh, this could eventually lead to a rate cut, which again could have some effect, indirect effect on uh, commodities prices via the, via the relation between the Canadian dollar and commodities prices. On Wednesday, there's the US factory orders report. This is a monthly update. As of the previous report, the factory orders rose by 1.8%. This is again one of the reports that show signs of progress in the U.S. economy. And, when, and if the U.S. economy will continue to show progress, it may adversely affect the gold and silver prices, which are considered safe haven investments in times of, a, in times of this economic slowdown. On Wednesday, there is Australia's trade balance monthly update. In the recent update regarding December, the seasonally adjusted balance of goods and services contracted to a, to a, to a deficit of $427 million. The, ex, the, expert, the export of non-monetary gold fell again by, 200, by $274 million. If gold exports will continue to decline, it might suggest that there is a drop in demand for non-monetary gold. Bank of Japan will also come out with a statement uh, following the monetary policy meeting. 
and um, the the big news from last week were revolved revolved around the nomination of Bank of Japan's governor, and this may have contributed to the direction of the yen throughout last week. In the recent meeting, Bank of Japan left its interest rate unchanged and also didn't change its asset purchase program. If they'll continue to, if it'll uh, resume its expansion of its uh, asset purchase program, it might further uh, weaken the, gen, the Japanese yen against major currencies. Bank of England will also come out with its rate decision and asset purchase plan. Asset purchase plan. Bank of uh, England left in, as of uh, last month its interest rate unchanged at 0.5% and the asset purchase plan at 375 billion pounds. If we will decide to make some changes on this front, it could have some effect on the British pound, which is also, which also tends to be strongly linked with commodities prices. ECB will also come out with its rate decision. The last time ECB lowered its rate was back in July 2012, and and since then it it stand on the 0.75 percent. However, the economic slowdown in Europe, including the drop in inflation, the rise in unemployment, is likely to raise the chances of ECB lowering again its interest rate. Many experts uh, assume that it will eventually happen. However, the big question remains when. Currently, the, currently, people think that in the in the upcoming rate decision, ECB won't change its policy. However, it might happen in April. In any event, <clears throat> based on this decision, we could also in the press conference that will follow, we can also get a closer view in regards to what are the what are the sentiment of the ECB leaders, including ECB President Mario Draghi with respect to its uh, current policy and uh, by that if he will hint if he ecb president will hint of its future of his future plans to lower the rate it could have some effect on the euro which is also strongly linked with gold, gold and silver american trade balance mo monthly update will also be released on thursday as of the recent report the goods and services deficit declined during the month to reach $38.5 billion. If the deficit will continue to close, it could have some effect on the US dollar. Canadian trade balance report will also be released. As of the previous report, both exports and imports declined, and as a result, the, deficit, the trade deficit contracted to reach $901 million as of December. The imports fell at a sharper rate than the exports. So this report will could also have an effect on the Canadian dollar, which is also linked with the uh, bullion rates. US jobless claims weekly update will be released. As of the previous report, jobless claims fell by 22,000 to reach 344,000. If this trend will continue, it could strength and further strengthen the US dollar against leading currencies. Japan GDP fourth quarter for 2012 also come out as of the as of the third quarter, the GDP contracted by 0.9%. This will be another incentive for Bank of Japan to further expand its monetary policy to jumpstart the economy. China's trade balance report. As of the previous uh, update, China's trade balance fell to $29.2 billion surplus. If the surplus will continue to decline, it may suggest that China's economy is slowing down. And on Friday, there is Canada's employment report that showed little change as of the previous month and of course uh, one of the main reports of the week will be the non-farm payroll report 
As of the previous uh, update, the U.S. unemployment rate remained re virtually unchanged at 7.9%, and the uh, non-farm payroll employment rose by 157,000. If the if it'll, the employment report will continue to show growth of above 120,000 in uh, new employees, it could uh, strengthen the U.S. dollar and consequently pull down gold and silver rates. That's it. For more on gold and silver, you're welcome to check out my blog at tradingnrg.com. Thank you for listening. Have an excellent week.